The next book that I quote from, it's not as many quotes, is The Structure of Evolutionary Theory, published by Stephen Jay Gould. Stephen Jay Gould is also another eminent uh, scientist in America. He passed away uh, by the time this book was written. You go to your Barnes and Nobles, the book is this thick, three inches thick. So what they did, they republished this book as punctuated equilibrium in 2007. Dr. Gould passed away earlier in this decade. But he is a paleontologist. The paleontologists study fossils. He's one of the eminent fossils. He's also one of the popularizers of evolution. He's a very strong evolutionist. He and, and Lou Edmonton and these others were the ones that developed punctuated equilibrium about 30 years ago. It's been very controversial and led to lots of discussion back in the early 80s. But Stephen J. Gould, this is a book from 2002. It's also been republished in 2007. It states, and these are quotes from his. Uh, you can imagine how long this book is. I'm going to page 749. Anatomy may fluctuate through time, but the last remnants of a species look pretty much like the first representative. The next one. The greatest and most biologically astute paleontologists of the 20th century acknowledge the literal appearance of stasis and geological abrupt origin as the outstanding fact of the fossil record and as a pattern which would pose one. Would pose one. He's referring to Gaylord Simpson. Simpson would pose one of the most important theoretical problems in the whole history of life. Next one. The long-term stasis followed geologically abrupt origin of most fossil morphosis has always been recognized by professional paleontologists. The next one. The great majority of species do not show any appreciable evolutionary change at all. These species appear in the sections birth occurrence without much without obvious ancestors in the underlying beds and are stable once established and disappear higher up without leaving any descendants. Now here's my favorite. This is one of the popular things you hear about Stephen Jay Gould among paleontologists. But stasis is data. Say it ten times before breakfast, every day for a week, and the argument will surely seep in by osmosis. Stasis is data. Stasis is data. And the last one from uh, Stephen Jay Gould is, indeed, proclamations for the supposed truth of gradualism asserted against every working paleontologist's knowledge of its rarity emerged, largely from such a restriction of attention to exceedingly rare cases under the false belief that they alone provided a record of evolution at all. The falsification of most textbook classics upon restudy only accentuates the fallacy that the case study method and its root and prior expectation rather than objective reading of a fossil record.